so the month of March has come to an end, so that means it's time to talk about all my favorite things that made March a little bit more enjoyable. So let's get started. My first beauty favorite is a cream by Lush called the Vanishing Cream. I've been using it a ton in March and I'm so glad I found it. It's supposed to be for oily skin um, and troubled skin in general and it's supposed to just sink right into your skin and give you moisture and at the same time clear away those spots and impurities and things like that. It has honey in it, it has witch hazel and lavender and a bunch of awesome natural ingredients which I love and it smells amazing kind of like you're at the spa or something like that what I like to do is after I put it on my face I kind of rub a bit in my hands and then hold it up to my nose and deep breathe and inhale a couple times it's almost like aromatherapy the smell is so soothing and really herbally um, and it just really calms me at the same time when I'm doing my face routine so I've been really loving that a lot you should definitely check it out Fashion favorite, I've been really loving my black suede fringe backpack that I got at Topshop. I love the size of it and it's super functional. Uh, I remember I took it to the Ed Sheeran concert just a couple of weeks back and it came in really handy because uh, so I just had my backpack on, my things, and I had my two hands free. I had you know my drink in one hand and my camera to take videos on the other hand. So it was really awesome to have that on my back. My next favorite is a website that I stumbled upon the other day. I think I was googling um, how to make falafels because <laughs> I was really craving falafels and I just had a bunch of chickpeas and I felt like I had all the ingredients. So I was just googling it and I came across this awesome website called The Minimalist Baker and it's run by a husband and wife duo from Portland and their philosophy for their website is just that they want to keep cooking simple and accessible to even novice cooks um, and people who don't normally cook. And all the recipes they have on the website have 10 ingredients or less and take 30 minutes or less to make and require very minimal equipment. And the whole idea of it is that they want to keep it simple and clean and healthy but at the same time free you up time so that you can enjoy your life so you're not in the kitchen you know, washing your dishes for 40 minutes after or you need to prepare for an hour before you cook something and although the recipes are not strictly vegan or gluten-free they do emphasize clean eating and fresh ingredients that are organic and as healthy as possible the photography of the food is just so incredible um, I think food photography is completely an art by itself. It just makes the website really inviting and the food just looks delicious and you want to try all the recipes. So I think they have a cookbook on there that you can purchase but they do have a lot of free recipes as well and I've been trying a bunch of them and they have been spot on. So definitely go check it out. March has been a pretty good month music-wise. I've come across a couple good finds and they've just been on repeat for the whole month. I was chatting with my friend Ron and he introduced me to this band called Odiza. They just have such awesome beats. It's kind of down-tempo and atmospheric and all the songs are so catchy. I remember I was on YouTube and I was like, oh, I like this. I'm going to add it to my favorites, one of the Odiza songs. And then the next one, I'm like, oh, I like this one too. And I ended up liking the whole playlist. So then I kind of just added the whole thing to my favorites. So you should definitely go check it out. Love it. Uh, another music favorite I have is this playlist from 8 Tracks. It's called Stay High. I'll link it down below. But again, it's just a series of kind of similar songs to Odiza, similar, like a similar vibe to Odiza. It's just really chill and good beats and high energy and I've just been pumping it all month long. So I will link both of those down below. I've actually started this playlist on my channel called Sweet Beats. If you go to the main page and scroll down to the bottom, you can see it. I started it because I've been coming across various songs on YouTube and um, they're just kind of random. So I just created this playlist so that I can favorite it and then I can have a list of all the songs that I've been liking recently. And and if you want, you can check it out too. So you can just scroll down to the bottom and click on the playlist and it'll just play all the songs that I've added to the list. And anytime I come across a new one, I'll just pop it on there. So you can always check back frequently to see what I've been listening to. So a movie favorite I have in March is not really a new movie. I've seen it before and it's one of my all-time favorite movies, but I was kind of in the mood to pop it in again and I just fell in love with it all over again. It's called The Diving Bell and the Butterfly. It's a French film. It's about a fashion magazine editor who suffered a stroke and as a result became almost fully paralyzed and the only functionality he has is out of his left eye and so he can't speak, he can't move, the only thing he can do is blink out of his left eye. And the movie is just 
so beautiful in the lessons it teaches you and also the way that it's shot. The cinematography is just amazing. It's sometimes it's from the perspective of him from the left eye. Um, and he communicates just through blinking and they set up a system, like a code system, where one blink means something and two blinks mean something else. And that's how he communicates. It's just so incredible to see how someone in that situation, you know, turns it around and, you know, makes the most out of it. And it really, for me, it teaches me just to appreciate the small things in life. I know it seems like a really kind of depressing movie, but... Um, you know, the character, the main character has such a funny sense of humor that it keeps the movie light. Oh, and I forgot to mention that it is a true story. And I think in the end, he was able to, using just the blinking method of communication, he was able to write a book, kind of like a memoir of his whole experience. So that to me is so inspiring and so incredible. So you definitely need to check it out. Diving Bell and the Butterfly, one of my all-time favorite movies. If you watch my TMI tag, you'll notice that I had mentioned my favorite quote, and it's just something that I found recently that has really resonated with me this entire month and still continues to do so. And it's just this quote that I found from the Creator Classes videos. You definitely need to check them out as well. Amazing. And it says, keep it simple, keep it light, and take time to experiment. For me, that is just so similar to how I like to live my life. I think people these days, or in general, overcomplicate things and for me, I just like to, you know, stay positive and just to see the simplicity and beauty and everything without all the stress and without all the complaining and just the politics of things at work and with your friends. I don't know. For me, it's just like, you know, life is life and, you know, just appreciate the small things and just be happy, be simple. And I like when it says take time to experiment because that's when you go out of your comfort zone and explore new things and add more richness to your life. So I've just been been loving it so much and I've been thinking of doing a DIY on it somehow I'm not sure how yet but you know to make it on print or use stencils or something to just put it up on my wall somewhere because I just love it and it's such a good reminder for me every day comment below if you're interested in seeing how I end up DIYing this quote and making it um, a piece of art on my wall so my last favorite is this little guy right here <laughs> this is called the Acuball mini and my friend Lydia recommended it to me uh, I got this at sport check in Canada when I was back there this summer but basically what it does is help release the tension and massage the pressure points and the tightness and the knots in any area of your body and for me I hold so much tension in my upper back I think I have pretty bad posture maybe I don't know yeah I think I have pretty bad posture and when I'm stressed out and things like that my back just gets so tight and so in, in an ideal world and if money was not an issue I would get a massage every day of my life but uh, unfortunately I cannot but this ball has been a lifesaver um, because it does a great job of helping you really release the tension and flush out all the toxins that cause that pain in those tight knots. And I do it, um, I try to do it every night, but I don't get a chance to sometimes. So when I remember, I do. And you kind of just lean on it against the wall, and then you kind of roll your back around until you find those tender or tight areas, and you just lean back on it, and you can feel a bit of pain, but it's that pain that you like almost because you know that it's doing something to get rid of it. You're supposed to take five deep breaths um, in that spot and kind of roll it around and find a new spot and do the same thing. And supposedly if you do this every day, it's supposed to layer by layer release the tension in those areas and flush out the toxins so that your muscles can contract in a proper way again. So I've been loving that. That combined with my foam roller has been the perfect combination for getting all the knots out of my back and my legs and just really stretching out my body. So I've been really liking that. So that's it for my March favorites. If you'd like, you can follow me on my Instagram at this old dress and as always like comment and subscribe if you like what you see I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next video bye